the Capitals re-sign Dylan Strom to a five-year new deal. Your Locked On Capitals, your daily podcast on the Washington Capitals. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Well, hello and welcome into this edition of Locked On Capitals. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. As always, this podcast is free and available on all the major platforms. And I want to thank you for making this your first listen or view of the day. Yes, this podcast is also available in video form, so head on over to YouTube and check it out. My name is Dan Holmey. You can find me on Twitter. It's at DanCaps218. You can find the show on Twitter. It's at LockedOnCaps. Today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel Sports. Book, official sports book of Locked On. Make every moment more. Visit fanduel.com slash locked on today to get started. So in this edition of Locked On Capitals, the Caps re-sign Dylan Strom to a five-year new deal. What does that mean for the Capitals? Ultimately, for me, what it means is they have more stability, more options for years to come at that center position or potentially wing position. We'll talk about that in this show, but just to get it going here, the Caps do go out and sign Dylan Strom to a five-year deal uh, with uh, annual value of $5 million. And uh, for me, just from the very beginning, signing Dylan Strom to this team, even last summer when they signed him, I do believe, just made a lot of sense because, you know, it seems to a certain extent that they disregarded him on the Chicago Blackhawks. And uh, for what reason, I don't understand, but their loss was the Capitals' gain because They signed him when Nick Backstrom left for that hip resurfacing procedure. The plan for the most part was to have Dylan Strom at the center position for the entire season because we thought that Nick Backstrom was going to be out for the season. As it turns out, Nick Backstrom was good to go a lot earlier than anyone thought. He came back in January. Most people didn't think he was going to come back till the tail end of this season or perhaps the beginning of the next season. So for the Caps to get Dylan Strom in here made a lot of sense. And uh, I think to a certain extent, they signed him to a one-year deal just because they weren't too sure what was going to happen with Nick Backstrom. They didn't know if he was ever going to be coming back to this team, because if you take a look at the outcome and uh, from that hip resurfacing procedure, it's not too promising. Uh, The book on it is you're lucky if you come back at all period. And if you do come back at what capacity are you going to be coming back? But as it turns out, I think that all things considered, it looks like Nick Backstrom is good to go and uh, should be, you know, good to go for the rest of the season here. So for the Caps to go and to be able to sign Dylan Strom to a five-year deal, to have that security at that position for years to come, the good thing about uh, Strom as well is there's that flexibility that he can play the wing position. Uh, The timing is a bit interesting. As we know, Lars Eller, who's a center on the Caps, this is the last year of his deal on the Capitals. I do not see them re-signing Lars Eller to a new deal, despite the fact that he's played rather well. I do think that the Caps have uh, enough options in-house. The Caps have re-signed center Dylan Strom to a five-year con- uh, contract extension. Senior Vice President and General Manager Brian McClellan announced today Strom's contract will carry an annual AAV of $5 million. And not a bad deal, all things considered, uh, considering what he has done on this team. Strom, 25, has recorded 36 points, 11 goals, 25 assists, and 52 games with the Caps this season. The six foot three, 200-pound forward ranks second on the Caps in assists, third in points and power play points, and fourth in goals. Strom was also ranks fourth among Caps forwards and on time on ice at 1642, is on pace to record 56 points points this season. So a really solid pickup for the Caps uh, this past season. And to lock him down for the next five years is just a really good sign for me because I think he's a solid pickup. And like I t- talk about, then if he doesn't have a spot at the center position in years to come, they could always use him on the wing. It just is a real sound signing, all things considered. Dylan is an intelligent and skilled center and has been a great addition to our organization, said Brian McClellan. We are pleased to sign him to a long-term contract 
We feel his skill set is great and it is a good fit for our team as he enters the prime years of his career at an important position. And, you know, Strom at only 25 years old, uh, that is still young. And, you know, all the time we hear about on this Caps team is they need to get younger and they need to get faster. So, to kind of retool on the fly here uh, just makes a lot of sense. All right, so after the break here, we're going to talk about where does Strom fit in in the future, and uh, was there another option uh, if Strom didn't work out? We'll talk about that next. This year, the only app you need at your Super Bowl party is FanDuel, America's number one sports book. We're really excited about our new sports betting partner for Locked On because they're the number one sports book in America, FanDuel. And if you're new to FanDuel, that's even better. They have so many great features that make on betting on sports fun and easy. Download FanDuel now so you can bet on Super Bowl 57 with a no-sweat first bet. You'll get up to $3,000 back in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win. FanDuel lets you bet on everything from the money line to point spreads to who will score a touchdown. The FanDuel Sportsbook app is safe, secure, and super easy to use. Best of all, you can get paid at your winnings instantly. So join FanDuel today at FanDuel.com slash locked on to claim your no sweat first bet on Super Bowl 57. That's FanDuel.com slash locked on. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the NFL. All right, welcome back into this edition of Locked On Capitals, where it's your team every day. In this episode, we are talking about the re-signing of Dylan Strom. Just a solid pickup. I like this signing on all kinds of different levels. I think that he has done a great uh, job on this team, and to sign him for the long term is just a big thing. Like I say, 36 points so far this season and 52 games played. There's not nothing to really like about that. So taking a look at Strom, he was a originally drafted by the Coyotes with the third overall pick in 2015 in the NHL draft. Strom recorded a career high 57 points, 20 goals, 37 assists in 78 games with the Arizona Coyotes and Chicago Blackhawks in 2018-19. Strom averaged 0.68 points per game in parts of four seasons with the Blackhawks from 18 to 19 to 21-22, which ranked fifth on the team in that span in 325 career NHL games with Washington, Arizona, and Chicago, Strom has recorded 206 points, 78 goals, and 128 assists. A great move for the Caps, all things considered. Where do I see him fitting in in years to come? I do see him staying at the center position. I think that that's where he would be best served to play. Uh, that is where he plays best. But he did have some time playing at the wing uh, position for the Blackhawks as well. So there is that flexibility. And uh, one of the things I think the Caps are looking for is this is a team in transition. It is the oldest team in the NHL. So to sign a guy like Dylan Strom at 25 years old to a five-year deal just makes sense because even five years from now, he's going to be an excellent player. Uh, but to slowly insert and kind of change things out with some younger players, I think that is advantageous for the Caps because you know, this off season coming up here uh, this summer is going to be most interesting. I think it's going to be interesting as a matter of fact, uh, coming up on the trade deadline, March 3rd, I think you're going to start to see some pieces move. How busy do I think the capitals are going to be? Ultimately, I don't see them being too busy. I see them potentially making some small moves here or there, similar to a Sonny Milano or a Nicholas Abe Cubell, uh, those kind of things. So I don't see any big changes happening. And I think that ultimately what Brian McClellan wanted to do is he wanted to lock up um, Dylan Strome for the long term, because if he hit this summer, there's a good chance based on his play on the caps this season that someone would have scooped him up and then they would have left scrambling, try to fill that uh, position. Uh, I mean, take a look at it. The caps also went out inside Connor Brown in the off season to fill Wilson's spot kind of a bust this season. He got injured early in the season. Um, so for one of those, you know, two of those players, uh, at least one of them, you know, turned out to be a good fit on this team. I knew that Connor Brown and Dylan Strom were both two great signings, but kind of just some bad luck for Brown uh, as he got injured earlier in the season. But 
all in all, I love this signing for the Caps and Dylan Strom. You can't ask anything, you know, anymore. I know that in the offseason, people are like, well, they went in on Dylan Strom. Is he really that great of a player? You know, he's not going to be a comparable for Nick Backstrom. As it turns out, he has been an excellent addition to this team. And I love this on so many different levels. Uh, so just a really great positive signing for me, uh, for the Caps and for Dylan Strom going forward, really adding some stability, uh, not only for this year, but for the next years to come. That is big. We know that they took care of the goalie position, signing up uh, Kemper to a long-term deal and Charlie Lindgren. So they are slowly solidifying this team with really rock solid players. Dylan Strom is definitely one of those players. All right. I want to thank you for joining me on this edition of Locked On Capitals, where it's your team every day. My name is Dan Holmey, and I'll talk to you again next time.